There exists a place deep in the boneyard, where horrors dwell, chaos ensues, and shit is spit. A place where a weeb bone man talks on his podcast with his dreaded confidants. Beware the tales from the boneyard. Hello everybody, it's a Bone Man. Welcome to Tales from the Boneyard, the podcast where I bring the lovely folks of VHS on and we, you know, bullshit around and stuff. And uh, yeah, also just sign up, sign up for the thing. Sign up for VHS, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty dope. So, I have some lovely folks here to talk about the one and only, the one and only Toad Puppy. Uh, the basically the the wholesome lad of VHS Wart, and I got some cracked fucking players here. Uh, that one you just heard shuffling around there was uh, Snipe slash Sakuta. He is a fucking sick, sick Wart main. Although uh, in my opinion, his his dog master is way more chungus. But introduce yourself, bud. Uh, yeah, I'm Sakuta. Uh, I just I play Wart. I'm fifth wave gamer. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. And then we got Shark Kaboom, an also very Chungus Wart player. Yeah, hi, I'm uh, Shark. I mostly just play Wart or DM. Werewolf is kind of boring. Uh, That's fast. How dare you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I currently am the main monster player for Stefan's Angels, the mm-hmm. like, only comp team. We'll probably get more <laughs> of those later, but yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm I'm very I'm very stoked to see the future of your guys' comp team though cuz again like if you guys like there there there's videos out there but once you see like high tier like competitive fucking VHS it is so much fun to watch dude and it's so goddamn tense. Like if you want to get an idea of what the higher level of VHS looks like, TZ Boom actually has a pretty good video that he uploaded recently where they fought a fucking a dev playing as a wart and dude he was he was just wrecking them left and right and they're like they're a pretty good team i run with them sometimes oof fucking oof dude they're getting mm. their asses literally kicked in right to the right to the anus it was pretty good but yeah. um anyway uh shark boom how about you tell the peoples how exactly you got started on the wacky little vcr game Oh, I originally kind of just played a lot of different games. I played a lot of DVD, and I instantly <laughs> fell in love with playing as Ghostface, even though they were the worst fucking killer in the game on the PTB. I yep. made that first Ghostface. I've been through hell. <laughs> and I, and I, they're honestly just still my favorite killer in DVD. Because I, the, the crouching was super fun and all with its mind games. But we're not oh talking about God. DVD. I no, we're VHS talking about because... a better game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're talking about a game with devs that actually play their game. Mm-hmm. It's it's so fucking it's so nice. I mean, I'll I'll freak out about it every podcast or every time I get to talk about it because it's just so fucking refreshing. Because it's almost like, hey, this game requires a lot of information about balance. How do you get said knowledge? Play the fucking thing. Like it's it's the most common sense thing that so many devs fail. But uh, uh, it's just it's it's just so chungus. But anyway, continue. Yeah. So I heard about VHS from a. I don't even really remember how I heard about the game. I think I was just browsing around and I saw like, uh, Jay was like, "Oh, this is new, cool fucking game." Mm-hmm. Uh, Same, dude. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, "Oh, this is be interesting." And I saw that it was uh, an asymmetrical four v one game. Yes. By by this time, I had basically given up on DVD, and I and I installed the game. So I was like, I was kind of bored. I was just playing Overwatch, and that's pain. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, not great. I played it a couple nights ago. It is oh my god, it's like hammering your fucking Peter just for like just for no reason. It's it's so bad. Yeah, so I heard about it, and I started watching like the media. I started watching like the um. The deep dives was like, holy shit, I want this game. I, I, I got myself so hyped. You don't understand the amount of hype that my small brain went through. It was just like, <laughs> dopamine activated. Mm-hmm. 
Dude, it, it's so good. It, it just instant. I instantly fell in love with it. Originally, I thought since I like to be aggressive, I thought, oh, werewolf might be cool. And then I played the game. Yeah, not again. Werewolf probably has the most boring play style, but I just like going aggro, so I I I, I fuck with a werewolf. <laughs> but yeah. honestly, we'll we'll get more into it later. But Ward is probably like. At least, I mean, it's definitely the beginner monster, but it's, like, the most balanced monster with, like, the most options. And the most options fight as well. So mm -hmm. I signed up for the close beta the first chance I got. And around the fourth wave, I come home from school. Every day I've been, like, checking my emails, like, can I get a key? No. And then I, and then I heard, oh, key wave. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, I, so I checked, and I, real, and I saw that I had a code. I was like, wheeling. <laughs> it's enjoy. Yeah, it actually felt amazing. So, so I got through all my homework and everything I needed to do. And I was like, hell yeah, let's put this key in. Let's play this game that I've been waiting for. And my first thought was, let's play Wart because Wart <laughs> is you know the easy monster. It's supposed to be and you know it'll get me prepared for the game. So I played, and I caught on. Too quickly, I think. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of learned how they use sound in like my second match, and then uh, I played teen. That was fun until I started sucking very bad at teen. Yeah, that happens. A repeat of DBD Survivor for me. Oh my god. Okay, here's the thing though. DBD Survivor, like, it's so brain dead that you'll get it like at least within like I don't know, like a week. Getting good at teen takes, like, fucking... It took me at least, like, a couple weeks to actually get somewhat decent. And get, yeah. like, stigmas consistently. It's fucking... It's oof. It's a big oof. A lot of stuff to learn. Yeah, I consistently just started playing Wart, and I was like... I thought to play DM, and how I met this lovely community. I played... I was, like, my second DM match. And, mm -hmm. uh, Soda, who... You know, Soda Pop Rock Jones, you may know him. He used to play with streamer mode uh, on at all times. So I was like, so I, there's just this guy that was just like, you're a good monster and I love facing you. And mm -hmm. I didn't know who he was. Uh, and then I went against TZ in my like second Dull Master match. Yeah. And got my ass handed to me. <laughs> <laughs> So the yeah. last segment was kind of a gimme cuz yeah. if you want if you watch TZ's video then you'll you'll see why. No, he's a he's a tricky noodle to play against. Like I've I've played against him as monster a couple times and it's uh yeah, it's rough. <laughs> yeah, then Especially I got... it's oh my god, I just got down and then just a random bottle flies out of nowhere. It's so fucked up. I play no, I I, I also had run into crash a lot. That was the person who I played a bunch mm -hmm. of uh teen with because I was way too addicted to spawning RC players. Yep, same. <laughs> I, Shit's so good. I'm the man. RC flyer guy. Give mm -hmm. me a skin. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, I, I want a pilot skin for my teens about RC flyer. Oh my god. Just a little, like, imagine, just a little you know, wait, like, like a shark RC? Or what are you thinking? No, like a teen outfit for all the teens. It's like a pilot outfit. I could have swore I saw something. Just like give uh, Faith and Glory a, uh, a shark onesie, and that will be good. Oh, <laughs> yes, dude. I'm I play Jess, though. Give me them. And Jess, too, yes. Everyone on every team, Jess. honestly. <laughs> yeah, dude. Just, just fit. Better yet, give it to Wart. Mm -hmm. Wart already has so many good skins, though, that we're waiting on. Like the little top hat Yoshi. skin. The, the Yoshi. The dinosaur one, yeah. Yeah, fuck the dinosaur one. It <laughs> reminds me what a horrible reality we live in where you could just retcon how sick dinosaurs look. It's like, no, That's they true. were actually birds. Fuck you. Fuck They are actually, though. Uh, no shit, Sherlock. That's why I hate it. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> fuck scientists. They actually had feathers, a lot of them, I think. Yeah, yeah no, because, again, they were like part burb or whatever the fuck. Burb. Whatever. Yeah, I, uh, I'm, gonna... I'm convinced all the burbs died out and they're just fucking cameras at this point. The the <laughs> the pandemic happened You're so they could change the batteries. Series on uh, Tales from the Boneyard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's true though. I saw a van. I saw a van that they knew what was up. They were like, "Yep, they're changing the batteries in the birds, man." 
They're <laughs> changing the batteries. Oh, that's so stupid. Anyway, back on some good shit. So chickens don't exist. Uh, what, do you say chickens don't exist? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, oh, we're man. gonna go sidetracked, aren't we? A wee bit, wee bit. How about <laughs> hey, fucking hey, Sakuda? How about you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You tell us about the sweet tale of how you got started uh, uh, doing the VHS. Also, did I saw I saw that you had a stream on twitch i did but my game audio wasn't working so i'm gonna figure that out over the weekend hopefully get something going maybe saturday or sunday Pub. um but yeah uh, i've always been uh, a shooter gamer i i think i started with minecraft uh wait what <laughs> yeah yeah i started with <laughs> sorry i love how you started that you're like oh yeah i'm wait, such wait, a i'm wait, such wait. a shooter went, i'm such a went, shooter I'm player sh- i always been a shooter player and i started with minecraft yeah okay 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 the most hardcore like everybody with minecraft like my first everyone game... knows everyone knows all the top tier fucking csgo players started with Minecraft. Yes, they... I mean it's true. It was so big. Like I remember when I Valorant. Edition, Valorant $7. was just so Valorant was just so slow for me, so I started playing Minecraft. <laughs> All right, well, anyway, yeah, continue. Uh, Valorant was a really big thing for me and my friend group, but uh, yeah, I uh, actually, I think I started with Overwatch. I think that was the first. That makes shooter. sense. Like yeah. three years after it came out, like I was really mm-hmm. late, but it was fun. I played Doomfist. I had a lot of fun. Hit Hell a yeah. Lot. And then I just, uh, I I think that when my friend told me about DVD, I was like, okay, yeah, sure, I'll get it. And uh, yeah, I just, I had a blast on DVD on mm-hmm. my first couple hundred hours. Then yeah. it eventually got stale, uh, went to Apex. I have 1.2k hours in that game. Uh, yeah, because that, masters, then yeah, Apex it. is fucking fantastic, dude. Yeah. Then I, my friends, uh, convinced me to go back to Val. Uh, I that was the game I played before this. Uh, mm-hmm. Had yeah, just grinding the shit out of that game. I was like really bad for like three acts, but then <laughs> I hit diamond eventually. Hey, there but you then go. I saw a Jay Z YouTube video like new asymmetric horror VHS, and I'm mm-hmm. like, oh shit, this looks lit. So let me uh, let me sign up on the website. Uh, I was waiting for like about like five months. I think I signed up in late September. Okay. So I got my key coincidentally when I was on vacation in Hawaii. So I was just staring Ooh, at my key for like shit. five days, oh, like my God. so because I couldn't play. And then I got home and I played like a straight eight hours, even though I was tired as fuck. I was <laughs> like, "Holy shit, that was so fun!" <laughs> Hell um, yeah, dude. But yeah, uh, it was it was super fun. So I I've been k- keeping on playing it and just getting better and better awesome yeah. yeah no yeah you, you could that's that's a fucking understatement but i i kind of find that sick that like you guys are the only ones i've found so far that also were just like yeah i saw jay's video and then fucking hopped on it because like yeah. after because after that video i didn't realize TechSmith, whom i'm also trying to get on the podcast fucking did like a two-hour intro stream to like introduce vhs and i watched that entire fucking thing and everything i saw was like Dude, literally, they just answered all my main criticisms for fucking V or for DVD. It is is so ridiculous. Like their enraged system was super cool without having like a killer basically just be like, "Oh, my deal is I'm gonna knock you down in one hit," and that's like every killer has that. So you have that tactical, that extra layer of like tactical planning, like all the everyone having a cooldown was kind of remis- reminiscent of Overwatch a bit. So it like instantly got me kind of excited because i'm like okay i'm kind of familiar with this kind of shit too and i was just oh it was it was instantly super super grabbing yeah i actually uh, uh, you go sharing yeah uh one one of the friends i talked to about this game he his main criticism was he thought that monsters uh couldn't really do anything to teens with weapons which was fair because uh, we hadn't really seen much gameplay of yeah. teens actually fighting back well. The the dev, the dev uh, deep dives. Let's be honest, they were definitely going easy to make it so you could understand. Oh, what the game was going oh, on. oh, yeah, and and it didn't help with um, uh, TechSmith's early gameplay. Like it, he played Monster, and it was like it felt like he was hiding from the teens more so than actively pursuing them. So it was kind, it kind of gave mm-hmm. off a weird impression, but. Then you look at their actual video where they all played 
as Wart and Ross was playing, he was being super aggressive and everything. It was it gave a way better impression in my opinion. But yeah, I I could definitely see his arguments of Monster couldn't challenge teens without having a defensive mm -hmm. ability up. It seemed, but then I played the game and started kicking ass at people without armor, which was a bad yeah. idea. But I started doing it because I get cocky when I'm doing well. Yeah, that happens. I need to break that. I will die <laughs> very fast. Yeah, I constantly get ambushed just because I'm like, go burr, go burr, do knockdown team. And it's, it's, yeah, you always have to keep in mind, hey, there's probably some asshole waiting around the corner. Yeah, especially if better, you're, keep an eye on that. yeah, especially if you're in chase for like more than probably like 15 seconds. Someone's yeah. probably waiting around the corner. <laughs> so I, I'm... be, be careful, be big careful. I'm currently trying to get my uh, pathing to be better because currently my early game, mid game eh, pathing is just bad. I'm trying. Yeah. To, I wanted to get better because I played against Sakuda once with TZ and everyone. We got our asses handed to us on a silver platter. <laughs> you don't he didn't even say. play bad. He was just. <laughs> you're just so good at this game. I don't. No, understand. Sakuda. Sakuda has probably one of the best uh, monster game senses I think I've seen. Cause his gameplay is literally consistently just finding people super, super fast. And I don't know how the fuck he does it. His tracking is something, something. Super I, I don't natural. know. It's I feel like, up. uh, just people like make really little noise, even the good teens. And it's just, yeah, I don't know. I feel like on most maps there, there's, it's not really hard to find them, but, um, yeah, I don't know. My game sense, like in other games and like DVD and stuff, like I I don't know. It wasn't that good, but I'm like the type of guy who, who just like I don't really think when I make plays. Like I still like it kind <laughs> of just, just floats over my head. Like if that makes sense, it I, I don't know, really give a lot what... of thought. That's yeah, what I'm exactly. saying. The fact that you could do that and you are still doing... Like, if you pull off some fucking bananas teleports <laughs> in your Doll Master game and you're just like, oh, someone was right there. It was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, this dude... Like, the fact that it's just like not even thought that it's just a sense that you're like, eh, someone's probably here. I'm going to teleport to the doll and bam, you find someone. Like, that's... Yeah. That's, that's some good potential right there, dude. Would pay could have just watch my matches and tell me what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> yeah, I just, yeah. I just, I think what really helps me is when the teens are good and they have weapons. I, I make plays on the fly, and I can, I feel like I can just see like just any errors they make, and mm -hmm. I don't even think about it. I think it's just kind of like an instinct. Yeah, and exactly. That, it, it just kind of works most of the time, to be honest. Like, yeah, and that's. Again, that's that's super impressive, and I'm, again, I I've yet to see anyone like fully beat that ass at all. So I'm I'm still gonna be impressed till I see that. But yeah, no, like I, uh... like so far, again, your game sense top fucking tier, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Sakuda is mm -hmm. what I want to be as monster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just uh, want to be feared. <laughs> I did get beaten by like Disco and Aaron Stack, and uh, I think I got beaten by Jay and Trickster once, but like. I feel like I've grown so much from those experiences. Like, I I don't think it would be the same if I played now against them, because it, it just yeah. they got me with a lot of ambushes and like that's like one of the biggest things for like monster like is reading ambushes. But like yeah. I feel like I've I've gotten better at doing that. So like most I'm not gonna lie, most of the stigmas they got on me were ambushes. So oh yeah, dude, this is what I've been saying. You don't learn without getting your ass handed to you. I learned I know, yeah. so much about Monster just fighting Keezy over yeah. and yeah. over <laughs> and over again, dying consistently. And now we can consistently fight without me dying to my first stigma in the first 10 seconds of the match. before the Yeah, there's weapon. like an actual back and forth instead of you just getting your ass pounded. Like it's yeah, it's it's a good feeling, man. That's that's why VHS, in my opinion, it feels like okay. Here's what it feels like. It feels like DVD is happened. like DVD is like the Call of Duty, but VHS is like the apex, where it's actually like you need skill to fucking succeed at this game. And the more you lose and the more you fuck up, you learn from it and you do way better next time. Yeah, like, like literally every mistake you make is one less mistake in early access. That's literally what this is right now. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And that's that's why it's it's personally, in my opinion, like probably the most satisfying like 
like 4v1 to play right now. There's a lot of really good ones now that I've hopped on the PC, but VHS is one that I just consistently go back to because it's just so much fun. Especially mm -hmm. with especially with friends like this like teaming up in this game. Oh, so much fun, dude. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Should we uh should we get to the wordy boy? Huh? The wordy boy. Yeah, um yeah, usually I fucking ask you guys about your weeks, but guess what? Y'all are probably playing VHS. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. all it's all good in the hood. And I, I, I personally haven't done anything of note. The only thing um, of note, I guess, is I gotten back into Pokemon. I've gotten that horrible, horrible crack itch where I'm just like, mm -hmm. oh, I need to collect those fucking goddamn cock fights. Oh, I need to do that <laughs> shit. So what? it's, yeah, it's basic. Dude, no one thinks about it because it's just, oh, they're so cute and cuddly. It's just a cockfighting simulator. It's just cockfighting. <laughs> like, I, I want to be honest. I have never gotten to, I've never had a Pokemon face. Oh, really? I, I've yeah, always I, liked the games, but I've never been like super crazy about them. I did. Yeah, same, so I'm same. Fighting, it's a pretty Undertale phase, though. Yo, okay. we got the cam boy. All cam, right. Cam. So, so we were going to have another lad in, and I didn't know if he was going to make it because he is on that silly Russian time. Um, but yeah, no, he is here, the Camshat boy of the Camshat Hello. YouTube channel. Welcome. Hello, what's up, Cam? Hey, Cam. Um. I, I just woke up, so... Yeah, dude, no <laughs> fucking shit. Yeah, no, it's dude, like 8 a.m. Isn't it like 8 a.m. for you right now? 7. 7. 7 oh, yeah. God damn. Well, wow. yeah, we we were just... <laughs> want me to give we you a bit before we... Get, yeah, want me to give you a bit before... Wards. um Yeah, we were about to get to Warty Boy, but want me to give you a bit to, like, wake the fuck up, or do you want to introduce yourself, bud? <laughs> Yeah, I'll introduce myself. Hello, my name is Kamshan. Mm -hmm. uh, I am as uh, our host, beautiful host here just mentioned, I am a private owner of a small YouTube channel. I do weird uh, comedy hashtag question mark uh, videos. I'm almost a PhD in history. Uh, mm -hmm. I love all things alien and predator, and that's why I'm a uh, crown prince of all wards because uh, he's basically a space lizard, and space lizards are um, just are they your are they your kink? From... One might say. <laughs> oh I no! <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily say kink, but uh, I, I would say that they are my uh, passion. Uh, mm -hmm. Because, once again, space lizards are just one step away removed from space sticks, and <laughs> space sticks are just one step removed from space dozens. So, uh, what is almost a predator, in, in, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. That's why I felt like such a kinship for you, especially because I'm also a big predator fan. Yes, yes, a man of culture. Mm -hmm. I do want to compliment Cam on your artwork. I've seen so many, and it's actually very beautiful. Like, I've seen the the movie covers that you made with like oh, more on yeah. them or VHS. It's so nice. I, you're you're a really really great artist. Oh hell Thank yeah, you. yeah. Like you are you are a master with the Photoshop pen. Is very impressive, dude. I actually haven't seen much of your stuff. Uh, to be honest. Oh yeah, look him here. I'll link him to you after the podcast. Yeah. But you know, he makes some amazing fucking stuff, dude. Like his, I think his editing, pacing, and just general like comedy editing is fucking amazing. It's so goddamn good. All right. Especially, especially, oh, okay. yeah, okay, especially channel, love honestly. his, um, yeah, his predator hunting ground videos they are so fucking sick especially Dude, as it's someone... so sad that game died like that actually was yeah, a really cool game it's it's a bummer too especially like i, think I it... just i just got it like a couple months ago on my ps5 and i'm like dude it's i wish alive. i had a crew to oh. i wish i had a crew to play oh are there people still playing yes Where? there is people that still play but it's just super dead where though you can get a um you can get a lobby as fire team in 30 seconds but, you but can what get a lobby as a predator in four minutes so ah oh, fuck okay yeah it's... all right so it's like okay there's still some people playing well that's good yeah. yeah i was gonna say we need to squat up on that game one time one one day sure hell well, yeah. Uh, yeah i guess 
Yeah, okay, shark, go. Go, dude. I, I... Are you ah. okay? Are you okay, shark? Are you having a stroke, bud? <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's just starting his senses, and then he's like... Oh. I I don't know if like we should get get to war or if we should Listen, talk. Listen, okay, more. I know you fucking you guys I, are big. I, you guys I, are big fucking VHS players. You got places to be. I get it. All right. No, so. I just want to. I just <laughs> really want to talk about Wart because I really want to. I know. Go, go on to a rant about how bullshit his mutations are. Oh, no, I think oh, Throttle, oh, fuck I think off. Throttle his to, dude. I think, uh, I, I think Throttle needs to be buffed, and Detect also needs to be buffed, and Death needs to be buffed, and also right, Ward's this... Space Leap needs to be buffed. Yeah, this is <laughs> how... Okay, this is this is why I got all of you lovely gents here, because <laughs> you all have very conflicting thoughts on what Wart should be and how, how he is, and I'm just... I'm very curious to hear you guys' opinions. Well, I have so. an idea. Let's all say at the same time what we think the best armor mutation is. And there's only one correct answer. I run immune. base. I like base more than toxic it's because toxic. I like, er, I like no. tanking. I like, I like immune. More. The no. fact that you could use it, like, so consistently is very good. Like, that's good and all, but the fact that toxic has two upsides, and its downside is its stronger upside... Eh. It's dumb. It's a direct upgrade with basically no downside to stop it. Listen, if you're running a crack team that who's on it with fucking, you know, weapons and good at aim, like, it's it's still a downside. But anyone else, not, yeah, it's an upside. Because, again, really. people are still learning. Against good teens, even. Think about this. Teens try to kite warts, right, when they're alone. You know what having less damage in total doing because you have less HP does? It lets you recover from the hit faster. Which uh, no one seems to notice except me. That I recover from damage faster with Toxic. Which makes kiting obsolete. Which is Fluid's job. And then mm. it doesn't have uh, any downside in terms of cooldowns or anything. It also stacks with lethal weapon. Yeah, that that's pretty ridiculous. I will admit mm. that. That shit is pretty bananas. What do you think, Cam? How do you um, feel about I the about the toxic? I don't. I don't. <clears throat> so here is a disclaimer. Quick, 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 small disclaimer. I do not like to talk about things like from uh, a standpoint of like strong slash meta. I like to talk about things from the position of them being fun to use because I have like that's still I, a valid not, perspective. I'm not doing. Like, I used to do all of the, you know, sitting there in a custom game for two hours trying to um, c calculate all of the damage values in that Predator game, right? Mm. I'm not doing this anymore. Uh, <laughs> so, I don't... I, I see why Toxic is um, considered to be the strongest mutation, but, like... I don't know. Um, I like him even more. I think yeah. Him is, mm. Like, it, it suits my playstyle better. I don't. I don't disagree that Toxic is much stronger, but I like him even better. Yeah. Oh no, I'm not saying that you cannot use other mutations. I'm saying that since you know Attorney is coming up, I want every. I want most stuff to like. I want there to be options and like differences in my ability i want werewolf to be valuable so that i actually see werewolves i want yeah i want all the mutate i want at least some mutations instead of just one single build that's going to be the strongest and okay. we know that build's going to be throttle toxic deafened because they have no downsides whatsoever yeah. Also, let's explain let's let's take a let's take a fucking Death? break real quick and and talk about what exactly is what because let's break it down in general so first thing I mean, we obviously hopped on uh, mutations pretty quick, but what is your guys' favorite thing about Ward? Or general, generally, throttle. like, throttle. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Back on fucking mutations, bro. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, not, that's a valid but, point. Throttle's fun, yeah. but it's stupid. Okay, so, all right. But I meant, like, just play style-wise. Why, why were you guys so attracted to Ward? I uh, like being super aggressive while also still being able to pull back and defend myself. Wart mm -hmm. kind of fills that role perfectly. Werewolf is all defensive. Dollmaster is basically the defensive monster. You can be aggressive with Dollmaster. Yeah, I don't know. Seeing the way Sakuda plays, yeah, <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Strategy based. 
uh, yeah. instead of just, fuck you, I'm running towards you, I'm gonna slap you in the back of the head. Yeah. Yeah, that shit's very fun. Especially yeah, um... especially going into fights with the armor, just being like, hey, how about fuck you, unless you guys got two weapons. There's really not a lot you can do. Also, the sound design for Ward is fucking great. I love the oh, armor Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. All of his silly noises are so silly. Like, especially, dude, I still love, one of my favorite things about him is when he misses a swing, and then he gets hella pissed, and, like, clenches <laughs> his fists, and he's like, Nyeh! Like, he's like, like, hello. He's just so mad that he fucking missed and he didn't get that hit. It's, he, it's so adorable and just hilarious. He embodies utterly hilarious. me every time I miss a swing. He's, he's the gremlin character if anyone really wants to. <laughs> they anyone really wants to put a, t a label on it. But, alright, what about you, Sakuda? What's your favorite thing about the War Boy? Um, yeah, just the leap with movements and being able to look for literally any error in the team's mm -hmm. spacing and being able to get a hit in like front of four teams, which is really nice. Yeah, that that shit is very very cool. Like just especially taking advantage and then depending on what you got, leap is just really good with even just I mean slowing them down obviously is ni nice, but even just dodging stuff. Like, seeing what the devs do, <laughs> if, like, someone's using a sword and just sliding across the wall, like, sliding yeah. along the wall with fucking leap and getting that, getting, like, more distance in, it's just, it's so cool. It's so insane. Mm -hmm. Um, what about you, Cam? Is it mostly just the aesthetic of the boy, or is it, um, something gameplay-wise? No, I, I'd say that, no, aesthetic is just, it's all good, but if I don't like the... Gameplay style, I don't usually get so attached to character. I think that what is the Suisame knife of the three, mm -hmm. he has the most, I would say, versatile and most uh, fluid yeah. uh, kid of all the three. So, like, you can be defensive, you can be offensive. Uh, is very, very much, um, I would say, um, a, a, a brick or clay in your hands, so you can, like, you can do whatever you want with him. And mm -hmm. that is very much something that I like, uh, plus I do think that his um, abilities are definitely uh, the most base like not in a bad way but they like they cover all of the basics yeah and uh it's one of those easy to learn how to master things i'm sorry for using the phrase even i think it's such a cliche yeah no, I, I get what you mean though he is he is the ryu of the game seemingly where it's like Base Watt, you know what's going on with him as soon as you touch him, but there's actually, like, some pretty solid depth there if you really want to dig. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, I'd say he's kind of the poster boy of the game, just a wee bit. Uh, the poster yeah. boy is, that, is Werewolf, I think. That's their mascot. Kind of like Trapper. It was their first one made, if I'm correct. So, if you just go to the VHS page, Werewolf's right there slapped on the cover. That's true. Again, That's true. people want to play as a fucking werewolf. I mean, that's that's literally what got me in the game. I was like, I don't know, fuck this lizard. I want to be a werewolf. <laughs> I was so, and then I was it, so and then ignorant back then. Play it. Yeah, I was so ignorant. I still love I still love playing as werewolf, but no, Ward is definitely like a more satisfying experience. But um, yeah, so now going on to the mutations. Like his his perks are pretty good. Um, he has arguably some of the best perks in the game. Uh, yeah, his, his low because he basically just has, like, if you're a DVD player, he basically just has Discord. Like, it's, it's so good. Except it's when people group up, not when they're around a station. Um, and it's, it's just so fucking, it's so universally good. It's so goddamn good. His feast one, basic as fuck, but I could see it being useful for, like, feast builds. And, uh, yeah, and then his other one, what the fuck was, oh yeah, and then his other one where just... Target. Is it target all consuming and lethal weapon? Yeah. yeah, lethal weapon is so fucked. Honestly, <laughs> or it just it takes perks, more hell. Monster yeah. perks, in my opinion, do not should don't really need to be a thing in this game. Oh yeah, how so? Because unlike teens where you have to make your build based on your playstyle, monsters just 
Uh, pick best perk. Done. Yeah. It's not. It's basically what DBD Survivor and Killer was. You don't change up your build if you want to be pow strong. You just run the best stuff, and that's it. In yeah, that's true. There's no team, one not running freaking um. Lethal weapon, easy target. Yeah, lethal, screen easy fest. target. Yeah, especially yeah, screen yeah, fest. Exactly. Oh god, screen fest. Screen fest, pretty good, pretty good. But anyway, um, yeah, no, I agree. The perks, like the perks for teen, are pretty all right for the most part. But I feel like they definitely need to look at the um at the monster perks a bit because there's very obviously good ones and very obviously useless ones. Like, guess what? Who the fuck is going to use the deer stalker one that werewolf has? Oh, Anyone? even better. Or who's yeah. going to use any of the Dollmaster perks? <laughs> like, even legitimately. Better, guys. I mean, hey, guys. I, can, I can make an argument for the uh, Deerstalker one, but, like, right. uh, hello, here is a here, here, here is a perk that allows mm -hmm. you to see if a person was, not currently, but was in a locker <laughs> three <laughs> seconds ago. How about that? Do you. Here, why, why wouldn't you take it? Why wouldn't you use such a such a strategic masterpiece? Fucking <laughs> pray like who the fuck? I don't I don't know. They 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 need to rework all. Of just all just run into counter counter trickster, lol. Guys, oh, yeah. I can't wait to know where the teen is after they leave locker. Like three <laughs> seconds after they leave, it's such good. Such but not good even info. where the teen is. Not such even where the teen is. Info. The locker they left. Yeah, like the just the existence of easy target like basically reduces all of Dollmaster's perks to yeah how about just throw those in the trash and never Deadly even Bite them. has potential but why does it have a cooldown yeah <laughs> yeah there's some weird there's some weird shit going on with Dollmaster but um but like, yeah here, here, here. yeah a lot like besides perks though like the real thing the real thing i want to hear you guys argue about is mutations so uh, uh, uh. i personally i think wart is probably the most balanced one in the entire game uh including his mutations like his mutations actually change up his style quite a bit which is what they're supposed to do werewolves aren't very good they're just bad they're basically just solid either upgrades or just yeah how about you play your skill just like it like you get to use it again faster and it's just very boring like yeah. his mutations need so much work and then doll masters are just fucked, <laughs> they're just oh, fucked God. i will say his mutations are very strong for pub stomping this savage how is insanely good and grim is also insanely good yeah, I I rock I rock grim because fuck yeah, <laughs> just go burr harder. My main problem with Ward's mutations, though, what the f was the balancing for toxic? Boy, we're already done with toxic. Let it go, <laughs> dude. Toxic is no, old news. It's old news. I hate it, news. I, I I hate it so much. Done with it. Okay, I mean, we we have talked in brief about it, but like. If if you have a more detailed, nuanced opinion on the matter, please. I mean, I think he's okay, just. Yeah. No, I, I think he's just gonna say it's bad. Like, <laughs> okay, I, I have bad. an idea. I have an idea. Oh, have you ever it... heard the toxic bad? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I, I have an idea. Let's mm, go through yes. each of Ward's mutations one at a time. Well, that's Sorry. what I was doing until you were like, "Oh my God, toxic bad though." <laughs> Fucking numpty! I swear. I hate okay, it but so much you don't understand. We know. <laughs> I could tell my guy you wanted to start off talking up to <laughs> about war with the toxic thing. No, okay. Here's the thing. Which, in your guys' opinion, or at least just let me know, what is your favorite leap mutation Throttle. for me? Bomb. Bom okay, shell. bombshells. Bombshell. I love absolutely, but I feel like once I get it, kinetic is gonna be my favorite because I just want to leap all day every day. Anyway, what do you guys think? I think uh, Throttle is definitely the strongest and allows you to outplay even people with good aim. But I feel like if Throttle gets nerfed, then Bombshell is also a good candidate for Wart because oh, yeah. just because of the fact of that 1.5 seconds they're staggered and they can't use their weapon, that that can also kind of function like Throttle just a little bit. Yeah, but you just have to play range. a little Wait. differently. Wait, wait, wait. That that stops you from hitting people? That stops them from swinging weapon? 
I think that's. I think it does. I guess it was just it slows him down. I swear it doesn't. It only slows him down. Yeah, it's not disruption. Oh, okay. It's not disruption. It it. So the thing is, if they're not aiming already per se, right? Yeah, yeah. uh, Then it'll take them longer to start aiming. So uh, that's that's the uh, um. Every those green circles main power. It kind of just slows them down a bit, but it won't prevent them if they're already firing a weapon. Uh, yada yada yada. Yeah. I think... If they're gonna nerf throttle, I don't want them to touch the radius of the circle. Or, or I I know you said the the leap gets cancelled with damage. Well, that that's kind of like the whole point of armor with leap, like. I, I know that's a that's definitely a nerf option, but I would not like to see that. Maybe just I, I honestly think that throttle is what gives war outplay potential at high level. Mm-hmm. And without throttle, it's gonna be very, very hard. And I feel like if they're gonna do anything, just just raise the cooldown. Or yeah. or you can decrease the radius. I'd be fine with the decrease the um a stagger radius, but it would it would still hurt a lot. It kind of it, is. it kind of like overlaps with kinetics downside. I think that uh, bombshell is good and kinetics good. Like they're both really good mutations. The Man. problem is throttle is just so stupid strong that there's oh, yeah. no reason to use the other mutations. Why would you use bombshell or kinetic when you could just leap so fast that you can usually get there before they can even start arming their flamethrower? Yeah, or it just fucks up their timing with like aiming weapons. I just and don't stuff. think people understand that you need to pre-fire. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I think people, even if they try yeah. to pre-fire it, you can just cancel it if you see them armor if they see them start aiming early. Like that's true, but uh, in high yeah, level, depends. I feel like people will know the the spacing enough so that you'll like if you get a hit with throttle, the, it it'll be close. Like people won't be very very close in like high level. I feel like. To yeah. the fact that you can just pop up a flame, uh, still throttle into a flamethrower. Like they'll yeah. have, they'll they'll have like preset spacing. Like they won't be caught off guard. They'll they'll like choose where you want to fight them, and they'll already have the amount of spacing, um, they need to like to make at least throttle like the throttle hit like a close hit, if you know what I mean. Yeah, at high at high level, they'll be able to like pretty much detect what the hell they're running at like a glance anyway. So you just let your team know, a they're gonna run throttle, so be be careful with that kind of shit. And then people will probably pre fire their weapons. At and least tra- that's just a good you know that's a good warning. But anyway, the thing is about like the game right now, we can't really get valuable data because there's not much high level gameplay. Right now, it's mostly just what absolutely annihilates the best players currently. And Throttle, right now, seems like it's actually going to be way too good, in my opinion. I just, I don't, I want to use Throttle more. I don't want them to nerf it. It's just, I I want them to nerf it, but I still want it to be good. An idea, another idea, maybe, is to give some of the speed to base war and just make Throttle a different mutation. But not all the speed, because giving giving that to Bobshell would feel like shit. Yeah. Yeah, I could say it. But yeah, no. Um, throttle, throttle's an interesting one because it definitely has the most like tech you could do with it. Uh, both of them. Like yeah. I like kinetic. The idea of kinetic personally, because leaping and chases is super important as Wart, and I'm just like I want to go burr all the time. So I think that's, one that of seems the, the most... best one for me. Yeah. And then Bombshell. It, it, it again, it's a really good beginner thing because guess what? It kind of helps with the 360 problem because yeah. it's super, it's super easy, especially if you're not like if you play on controller like me, I get 360 like fucking crazy. So it's it definitely helps, but yeah, no, throttle definitely top tier. I think one of the strongest things for throttle is that if you craft any projectile weapon, the there's a a combination of three things that make you very hard to hit as long as like because if someone's swinging a sword at me and i i they'll usually just string swing in a straight line so if i leap to the left 
um, even like if like the swing is like 0.5 seconds away from me, like yeah. it usually gets them because of the fact of ping one, two, uh, the fact that uh, throttle or throttle makes you faster in your leap. Um, it the projectile like barely hits you as long as you like know where you're leaping. And also, as well as, uh, I think, does Wart's hitbox change? I'm not sure, but I, I was speculating if that was another reason why projectile weapons like are a little less offensive, uh, effective against uh, Wart with throttle. Because I feel like his, his hitbox changes, no? Uh, I am Wart not sure. <laughs> leaping is just, uh, the hitbox does change depending on what the monster's doing, including emotes. If you yeah. use the down emote, you go just straight down to the floor. It's yeah. become my mission to duck under a slingshot like Matrix. Oh, <laughs> that would be, dude, that actually sounds really sad. But doesn't he stick his tail in the air so you, he, no, he, it's they can just flip your tail? Oh, fuck. No, it's on the floor, yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that and his crazy. tail doesn't, the end of his tail doesn't have a hitbox either, so. It does. Uh, Your tail. Has yeah, it hitbox. does. Yeah, it does? I've seen. Well, yeah, I mean, I've seen like, warts I've like died. duck behind shit and then still get hit because you're I've hitting the tail. I've died because my tail is sticking out. Yeah, uh, I, I, the very the uh, there's definitely not a hitbox at the very end of the tail. Like I, I've seen people people's projectiles pass through right through me. Oh no, man! Oh no! No, no like see? the very yeah. end, like the very end. It's the, the last tail has a hitbox. Hit it, yeah. So the thing it might have been ping once again that's true that, yeah that's a good point so ping, the thing, yeah it changes the thing, a lot yeah the thing is that yes from what i know from what i've seen and from what limited data people in the russian chat in the vhs discord uh hmm. have provided uh no the entirety of what's what's armor from his uh, pinkish to his uh, uh, little cute uh, what's now it's 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 a hitbox. So um, mm. yeah, yeah. Also, can mm. we can I, can I just say I love Sleepy Cam? Like he's fucking mm. <laughs> just sound. He just sounds like a very sleepy old man. And honestly, when whenever you're talking, I'm kind of imagining the um. Remember the Christmas wart where he was chilling on the chair with the fucking fire roar and i'm just dude, imagining that dude that was the most cursed thing i've ever seen oh fuck you it was wholesome dude it was, <laughs> it was so wholesome. it was so cursed to see him do that uh, like i understand just that smoking wart a pipe vibing horrible and all but like seeing this bio weapon curl up at the campfire with his tail clipping through the chair <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's just great dude it's so funny they definitely should have put some kind of Christmas music behind it, though. Like, the roar and fire sounds good, but it would have... They put some really silly, like, synth Christmas music. That would have just... Wart, it, would have just made have it Wart so singing complete. Christmas carols, honestly. Oh, God. <laughs> I, can you... I can't, I can't wait for people to rip the models and do some really silly shit with it. Yeah. That's gonna be great. Please. No. <laughs> but uh, we all we all know what they'll what, what they'll use it for, so please don't. Uh, well, I can't wait to check Pornhub the day after <laughs> before if that shit. <laughs> no, no. Uh, you know what's oh, gonna happen. Lisa, no. Hey, you know, listen. I'm supporting the the creative lads. <laughs> I'm cre I'm supporting the artists. All right. You just sound you just sound like a degenerate at that point. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> have, you, have you heard the intro to this fucking podcast, dude? Just straight DGen shit. Oh my god. Um, now, now we're asking the serious questions. Which one's gonna have the most? Oh fuck! Probably werewolf. Furries love that shit. That's true. That's so yeah. true. I was the thinking DM. Crow. D oh, cause he's dummy thick. Is that why? <laughs> Is that why you're fucking thick? <laughs> While his dolls watch, bring in the cuckold on. Oh, God. <laughs> the dolls are uh, children. Uh, dude, they're fucking dolls. No one cares. <laughs> one could argue the tiny lolly girl is also a child, but she's 500 years old, motherfucker. You don't know. <laughs> that's Again, that's just illegal. that's just how it be. No sh yeah, no, I'm not, uh, I mean, I'm not condoning the, lollies. <laughs> just all saying. of the dolls that we have they aren't they basically 
hosts of real life human souls that mm. he just entrapped in there after killing them. I don't well, like the no, but no, what it is? Oh, uh, Jesus! Yeah, God. it's it's in the lore, basically. I just no. I thought the lore was he gives them he like murderous intent orders, and they're basically like they're basically possessed by his like will to eat souls. I don't know if they're actually possessed by the souls themselves. He does whisper into the ear of the first uh, doll, and it like eagerly wants to help. Hey, little mama, let me whisper. <laughs> 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 that's just every time, yeah. That's just what Dollmaster's singing to him. All right, all right. Okay, let's. No, let's enough of this. Anyway, let's enough of it. enough of the. Yeah. yeah, enough of the fun VHS porn talk. We will. T- <laughs> we will. T- <laughs> immune school. I mean, immune imitation. Honestly, it's a great cycle. <laughs> yes, it's very good. I do. Uh, like the twenty-five it. second armor in exchange for fucking you over if you get shattered. Pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, it's, it feels like it's not enough of a downside, but. Yeah, no, it's a good downside. Because if you get your shit busted, usually a good thing is, hey, leap out of the way, mayhaps, before they get hit, before they get you with another weapon. But you just don't have that option. You either have cover around your general position, or guess what? Eat shit. That's, I that's think Louie does also have great side grade. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just moving faster with that shit. Like, it, it throws people off so hard. When I've used it, I notice people just are super off with their spacing because they expect me to be, like, way slower than I actually am. And it's just, it's really funny. It's very funny to see them, like, turn around the most the annoying thing in the world sitting in the corner. Listen, listen, now, we need to get, we need to get the lads' opinions on, on Immune and, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Fluid. What, what, Sakuda, Cam, what do you think about that shit? Fluid? It's fine. I've never touched it, but it's... Depends oh, on the really? play style, to be honest. Yeah, I always run default armor. Okay. Because I my build is actually the exact same as Blues, who actually majorly wanted like convinced me to get in War. Because I actually wanted to play Dollmaster at first, but War is just so much fun with throttle. Mm-hmm. You can Definitely. get to both. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I'll probably have to yeah. learn Dollmaster at some point, anyways. But yeah. Well, again, you show way more promise with Dollmaster than, like, most people I see playing Dollmaster, so good shit. But, yeah. Wait, what about you, Cam? What do you usually run? Mm, usually? Usually you run fluid. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't know. Like, I do think that I have currently... I, I, I think I, I currently have Toxic Equip. Uh, <laughs> but, nice. but it was because of it's literally because I forgot to take it off after mm. I finished with his director's cut movie. So yeah, I felt the same way about Thunder for Werewolf. You feel like such a shit using it, dude. It feels just gross. Everything I don't know. about I don't, Werewolf I don't, feels I don't, gross. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna yeah. be shamed because of like people. People think that's this this particular mutation OP. Don't use it. I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> but it's, I'm sorry, it's a video game. I don't give. I don't give. <laughs> yeah. I'm here I'm to gonna... have fun. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be a toxic schmuck towards you. But like, if you don't like what I'm running, I am so terribly sorry. That's a you problem, not a, not a me problem. It's basically uh, a get good moment as well. Like, well, I mean, you don't like it, don't get hit. <laughs> so, I mean, fluid, I like fluid a lot. Um, I think it's actually really, really good because. Yeah, as you said, it it actually does um, let you be more aggressive in chases, even with other people with uh, weapons being at out. Um, mm-hmm. I do think it's a very nice um, thing that in some situations, at least for me, uh, helped me to counter the Dreaded uh, cursed sword. <laughs> cursed sword. Yeah. Um, cursed sword's big funny. Cause it, dude, the range on that shit is so fucking r- ridiculous. No, dude. no, no. Yeah, it's, it's, fucking... it's, it's ridiculous. Like, I'm sorry, but like the kiting effect on what is yeah. ridiculous. I'm, I'm so terribly sorry. This is it just, slows like, them this down like crazy. Yeah. Like, we can, we can talk all day about how toxic is like. 
not fun, interactive or whatever, but like at the end of the day, they the teens have an ability to craft curse swords, so I don't really care. Totally. <laughs> um, That's true. Um. So what you're you, saying? I mean, so what you're saying is fuck them kids, right? No, I'm just no, I'm just saying that it's like it's. A lot of teens, a lot of people are complaining that Werewolf is not fun. And he's not. Because yeah. he's more annoying than he's, like, actually um, viable, right? Yeah. Uh, but the problem is that uh, Cursed Sword's kiting ability against Ward, it's not just, like, boring and, like, actually frustrating because it just like freezes you in place more or less but yeah. it is also a very viable strategy so it's just like imagine if werewolf on top of being annoying was also good so that's that's what that's how i feel every time i run into those pesky teens and their goddamn dog and their goddamn <laughs> cursed sword um yeah I honestly, yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. Please, sorry. I honestly don't really have a problem with sword kiting against my wart. It's yeah. it's honestly very easy to get around. I usually just press A or D, and then it just stops working, unless it's in a short hallway, which then you know you can just wait for it. Usually that's what I do. I don't have as much of a problem with it, honestly. I I have more fun going against core swords than I do most weapons because it makes both sides have to think. The, the curse sword for me is not a problem because, yeah, I, I've waited for the swing to disappear and it usually gets me more distance or than actually just trying to avoid it. Yeah, just um, if you're out in the open, though, it's fucked. Yeah, but there there's there's just only a few places I've come to recognize where you cannot dodge a curse sword hit or you have to go around. Um, but most of the time, it, it's usually okay. But the weapons I I worry about when I'm going against a good team is definitely just it's it's got to be shock seer, um, especially if they get the one with the tension track. If they oh, don't, yeah. it's usually fine if you're playing near LOS blockers. But also the eye, the eye is the eye, uh, the eye is like so dirty. any other weapon is is very good. But as I said, like I I worry about those weapons, but at the same time, I don't think I've learned. Um, I don't think I've met a player who's completely read where where a monster is going to do. Like, when... Because if I break LOS, like, they have to take multiple gambles depending on the area I'm in. So, yeah, that's that's usually the counter to those weapons. But, yeah, uh, personally for me, sword is, like... It's, it's a good weapon. It's a very good weapon. Good for kiting. And can definitely buy you some time. But it, it just buys... It's much less of a threat level compared to, in my opinion, the eye and the shocks here. Yeah. No, That's it's really uh. Yeah, dude. The, the eye is honestly probably the best weapon for making monster instantly go defense. With shock yep. spear, it's got its counters, but eye is literally just if an RC in a, in a shock spear. Yeah. yeah, we're yeah. the same weapon. They just made sweet, sweet love, and you have that horrible eyeball with tentacles. And it's it just, dude. Might... Every time you hear that, or you hear the, or you hear the Unavan <laughs> Guli, yeah, like it's, it's just fucked. <laughs> I know. I just say Van Guli because it's it's a curse in Italian. It's, it's just big funny. Yeah. But um, but yeah, no, that shit is exactly. that shit is very good. But uh, guess what? Wart is also the best because finding people, pretty goddamn simple. He has probably the best location ability in the game. And, uh, yeah, I think that's why so many people gravitate to him so much because you're always engaged with Werewolf. It's kind of annoying because his is, you got to hunt around and you basically just got to scan rooms and it's just kind of meh. But oh, yeah. Wart, you're always constantly going from, like, fucking, like, uh... Not what the what's the word I'm thinking of, whatever. You basically find the you find the kids and you fucking bite them. So it's cool. It's very cool. Which uh, which are your favorite mutations for that skill though? Uh, for... I heard Cam want to say something. So for Echo. oh oh did he? Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, my I, bad. I just wanted to say that like, if, in my personal experience and in my 
humblest of opinions. Mm -hmm. I I like literally have the exact opposite mm. perspective because I I think that Ward perfectly counters Shock Sphere. I, like no, don't get me wrong. I I I still hate the Shock Sphere. It's like I don't tunnel people, but if I have here a Shock Sphere, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm sorry. Like I am so terribly sorry. You're a goner. Um, I mean, if I can get you. Um, um, not that good in video games. Uh, <laughs> but like, um, no, I do. I, I, yeah, I, I just have so much trouble with. I understand that you can obviously evade uh, curse swords swings, but I mean, um, yeah. that's a that's always theoretical. So, uh, in my per like from in my personal experience, I have much more difficulty dealing with uh, curse swords than uh, eyes and or shock spheres. Yeah, but sorry, I, please continue. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like curse sword or eye and shock sphere by itself not not a problem at all. I completely agree. But when you're against a good team, those are pretty much the only two weapons that must force you if they have four weapons and one of them is either i or shock it, it forces you to play very very defensive to the yeah. point where you can't even it like if i try to go for a throttle hit like the the eye or the or the shocks here like it it, it it counters me going aggressive so you at that point it just makes you play for hits against like I... good teams I see both of your perspectives, but honestly, against good teams, Shock Sphere is never made because it's such a gimmick. It is probably <laughs> the most gimmicky weapon in the game if it's not facility. Because simply pressing spacebar on a window counters it. If That's it's true. an eye, yeah, yeah, I can see your problem. And I can and I have a problem with that too. I should say the same though. It's fine. Like I and Shock Sphere, I have no problems with them being what they are. They fit their role. It's yeah, just they're mostly. All about... ba Sorry, I was just gonna say, yeah, they're mostly balanced. It's just figuring out a good way to work around them. Yeah, uh, I think Ward's gameplay revolves around keeping. I think Monster gameplay revolves around keeping people from just making weapons. Because if they make yeah. weapons, then they can fight back, and if they can fight back, you die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I've, I've got to say, the majority of my games that I win. They they usually don't get four weapons off. They they usually have, a, I usually have a lot of early game pressure just because I've good tracking and I can I can find them. Man's ears big, <laughs> got them Dumbo ears on him. It's so uh, we were gonna go to Echo. You said right the Echo mm -hmm. mutation. Yes, the Echo location. It's, it's I, so I, good. I think detect personally is not that good. It's free yeah, it's info, just... but. You can yeah. just assume that every team has a weapon anyways. Uh, Mimic is good. I actually think Mimic is a really good mutation. It's just outshined by the mutation with no downside. Yep. Defen. Yeah. Defen is pretty goddamn good. That's true. <laughs> Defen's just if you put a uh, normal echo on crack. Yeah. And then and then it smoked weed afterwards. So it's just very chill. I respectfully disagree. Really? I think, I think that Detect is the best mutation. All right. That's what I just said. How? Okay. But oh, no, I you know. said Defen. You said Defen. Oh. Yeah, you said Defen, man. Nah, Wait, so it's what? Yes. Yeah, because it, it gives very solid information, and you already know how many weapons are on the field. Like, I, I know you can go into an engagement assuming, but then you make stupid decisions where you try where you act more defensive in a situation where it's very unnecessary okay um, i i agree that defin is the best mutation just because of the outplay potential and it not having any downsides like you're not gonna echo with armor on. and you can use it aggressively which is pretty nice but i i see i'm a def i'm a detect user like and it just helps with the decision making so much and mm -hmm. but i can definitely see that if I get to the point where, um, where my like I, I just need to learn to not use the tech, and I can feel I, I I can see why Defin is so good, but uh, I just really like the tech right now, just with the decision making, it really helps a lot. I, 
I Tech? just don't. I just don't buy Daphne as the best mutation. Not because you don't buy the yeah, hype. <laughs> it's it's yeah. I understand that it has no downsides. Uh, even like not no no no. no, no um, it has a downside, but like the scenario at which this downside comes into play is uh, so rare that yeah, it is like negligible. The, re uh, the reason. But... Uh... Yes, please, uh, please, please continue. Uh, okay. Uh, the reason that Deafen is so strong is because simply due to the fact that. Every time you echo, people are forced to play differently because they don't know if they're com if you're coming for their ass. If you are, you get a free hit unless they are acting on it early. Deafen lets you get outplay potential because when you're playing defensive and you don't have armor, you can deafen so that no teams, not even shot like, even if they don't have shucks for your eye, they don't know where you're coming from. You could be literally anywhere dancing around them. And yeah, getting, they can't pre-fire shit or pre-prepare shit. And they also, this also means they can't hear armor or leap turning on. Meaning that if you leap from around a corner with Devin, they don't get any indication of it happening. <laughs> and they That's don't get any good. indication of you armoring in the first place, so they don't run early. It, It's just so good, and it lets you ambush, which is the funnest, funniest part about it. Just... I, I'm, I'm, I mean, uh, it is the thing. I don't, I, I, uh... I just, from both perspectives, from perspective of Ward and from perspective of teams, I do think, I, I just, I'm just afraid that I'll have to say that once again, the, um, uh, benefits you get from using Defen are theoretical and they're very situational. So okay. like, yeah, I... because, no, because, yes, you do not here my tension trap however here is that like if we are dealing in theoretical yeah, assumption uh, that uh your teammates uh do have information about the map that they can convey to you and they can say that like we last saw heard whatever the word here right before before he use the death imitation. Um you can also just if you're crafting, let's say, you can just stop doing that for a for a wee bit. Uh all of that stuff. So it's like I understand that Daphne can be used successfully, but the situation is that four point five seconds um for a mutation that is used for echolocation, which is more or less for me, as I view it, is it's not just a tracking ability, but it's just like, it first and foremost lets you get an, a very generalized like overview of the map and where people are, and uh, 4.5 seconds with how vast big map sites i don't i don't think it's like enough to get from one end of the map to the other if you're you know, let's say uh away from the scene so once again the <clears throat> i do think that detects give you immediate and very concrete results as a, with Defen, you have to um a certain amount, certain certain number of um, conditions should be met for it to come into play. That's, that's like say mind. if someone was going to ambush you, or if you're walking up on a station where somebody was working. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you're thinking that def I use Defen consistently, simply due to how fun it is, and also it's just the best mutation in my opinion, at least. I can like. I can see why it attacks good. But the thing is, Deafen, you're not thinking about it in the grand scheme of things. Deafen, since it has no downside, can be used for everything. You can use it to track people. You can get it over the map. You can use it in combat. You can use it to ambush. You can use it for basically anything. And I get value from it every match. Every match that I've been, I've gotten at least one hit because of Deafen. Or a down. Or anything. 
like it has so much potential for for outplaying teens because sh ju they can't just not hear the tension track they cannot hear literally anything that's cool but what about mimic though mimic's good honestly i think mimic's a really good mutation yeah i'm surprised i heard no one talk about mimic it's because it just mimic gives is you kind so of much like, good information it gives you good information but it's not like the flashiest of the two you don't get as you don't get it you don't feel like it's that good but after using it a lot because like i experiment with the mutation sometimes as well uh it was good it lets me figure out where people are gonna run if you don't see them move away from the station after you use Mimic, well, then you just run to the station, because that means they didn't really move when they heard your tension track. And the yeah. focusing time doesn't mean as much, it just mostly means that you can't just use it, you know, in combat to find people instantly. Yeah, it, it, I feel like it's good, but the more you play and the better your tracking gets, the, the less you need it, I feel like. Okay, so you like, think it's the, like a training's wheel it, it's, mutation? It's a, it's a good perk, but... It's like when I feel like it's one of those or mutation. It's one of those mutations you eventually want to take off and for deafen or detect, in my opinion. Yeah, but no, that's just, that's. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Cam, go on. No, 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 please continue. Oh no, go ahead. And say what you were gonna say because yeah. I was going yeah, to I, I, segue. I just wanted. To, I just wanted to say that mimic is the, uh, in my opinion, like once again, huge disclaimer. This is just my opinion. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just think because this is a video game, and people, for some weird reason, tend to uh, treat it as. Um, I know, but again, it's <laughs> it's it's a pre-release game, my guy. It's okay. <laughs> just say what you uh, want to say. No, no, it's just like I don't want to. Like people tend to treat video games very seriously for some weird reason. Uh, yeah, I, in my personal opinion, Mimic's the weakest of the three. Uh, because. Okay. Uh yeah, I mean, uh, it can give you uh sense uh, an overall direction of where the person was going, but they could have just turned around for for whatever reason and went a completely different way. Because like once again, you need to. For immediate tracking, you need to rely more on your ears and your overall knowledge of the map, not yeah. the fancy uh, outline. Uh, but the found the fancy outline's pretty, though. F fancy outline's pretty. <laughs> it's uh, uh, that's also kind of thinking into theoreticals of them just randomly turning around. Most teams yes. will commit to the direction they're running. We were going over hypotheticals for Def and, like, just not doing anything, but as you know. Yes, but Mimic, I, yeah, no, because at... here's the, okay, here's the thing that makes Mimic kind of, like, it, it benefits Mimic quite a bit, is people might think it's Detect, though. <laughs> like, unless they're, <laughs> unless they're whizzes and fucking, you know, know the cooldown, but even then, like, they, it's a very hard thing to Detect. If People you actually... if you use you if you use Deafen, you kind of give away your hand. You show your hand super super quickly, so people will like keep that shit in mind. The thing the thing is, uh, I think as uh, Giriaki I think put it, he's a cool guy. You should check him out on Twitch. Uh, Giriaki Her... is a Giriaki put it that um, showing your mutation is more of an up is more of a upside for mutations that don't show it than a downside for those who do because a lot of mutations do give a tell savage gives you a tell uh usually you can tell that it's a mimic because of just the focusing time of the echo if you see him uh death and gives it away but it's still like really good because it just gives you over it's just overall strong you could tell fluid because they're going abnormally fast and their mm -hmm. activation time yeah. Immune because they're armoring constantly. Uh, toxic because it's going down faster. The armor uh, HP. Yeah. A lot of mutations give away their thing, so it's more of an upside for those that don't. Yeah, they have a very slight toe. And besides yeah. their, um, like, the leap is obviously the most obvious thing, but... Yeah, no, the other ones, they, they give a kind of tell. And honestly, dude, that's one of the things I love so much about the mutations, is not only do they give a slight tell, so um experienced players kind of 
pick up on it quicker than others. But also just the fact that you guys were arguing about very minor changes to the same ability. <laughs> that's kind of what the, the best that parts about Wart is. That's why he has the best mutations, in my opinion, because they make very slight changes, but you can have like, how long has this been going? Like fucking an hour argument or even like a half an hour argument of just like which ones are better and which ones are more efficient and stuff like that. And that dude, like besides aesthetics, which Wart has for days, I'm still waiting on that fucking big Yoshi skin. I'm so excited <laughs> for it once I finally have it. But I'm rocking a, I'm rocking the fucking Cheeto dust skin right now on my Wart and it looks very nice. Especially because I, especially because default Wart is like my favorite. But anyway, what were you saying, Shark? I personally prefer uh, Artemis Clone Wart. Wait, which one was that? Oh, is it the blue clone. one? The blue black one. Yeah. Where it's more purple. Really, that that one is really good. It's kind of really become nice. my thing. Mm -hmm. Except okay. for people that use it. Final sc Final movie skin is still my thing. What, the Kratos I, I like... skin or the one with the armor? No, I don't. That's the, 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 last, the, the, the last reason one. I don't like the movie skins for Wart is simply because of the Kratos look. I don't like the skin, like, uh, the trait. I don't like how it looks in terms of the Kratos thing. I don't know why, it's just... I just find it really me. funny that it's just Kratos. <laughs> You're just <laughs> like, why the fuck is this lizard Kratos, man? It's very sus. It's probably gonna have a lore reason. Yeah, because I, yeah. I know the last movie, isn't it, like, a bunch of warts have, like, taken over the planet or some yes, shit yes, like that? It's about a yes. war, I think, of humans against warts, I think. That's <laughs> yes. so sick. I can't, dude. Like, I'm so. World War, it's World War Wars. Yes. Yeah. So Cam, what were you saying? Yeah, by the third movie, by the Wart, uh, Warts <laughs> have become the dominant species on the planet. Yeah. So, so because the second one, they have uh, infestated the um, facility uh, to which, like a group of. Black okay. Ops or whatever is sent, and the third one is the like the dominant species. That's why. That's why I presume they have the, they have the, armor. Yeah. I don't. I don't like. Um, I don't like the third movie skin, because it's um. It, 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 it's grander than life. And it's just, it, it, I don't know, it looks weird. Also, if if the warts are the dominant species, who put the armor on them? <laughs> themselves did they, did they did, <laughs> i'm just imagining a bunch of silly warts putting armor on them with their tiny little fucking reptile hands they have pretty big <laughs> hands dude they got dude they got nails for they got bag lady nails how the fuck are they supposed to grab anything fucking effectively with they their giant what? goddamn nails dude, dude they grab they grab legs they go listen they i'm not how, they have are hands. We, are we unironically mm -hmm. going to discuss like this is the this is the most boring like how do Tie Fighters fly within the atmosphere? It is against the laws of physics <laughs> no, and aerodynamics. But bag speed. lady nails, Cam. How? How? I, I say. I don't. I don't care. It looks cool. That's that. It does. Cool. It indeed looks. It looks Why? very I, cool. I love movie <laughs> costumes because of the eye. Like yes. the eyes are murky white, mm -hmm. uh, and I love it. This is just this is my gem. I love it. Oh, I Absolutely. love those too. That's why base wart is like my favorite version of him. Like uh, the scorpion skin is sick, but it fucks with the eyes too much. It it, it loses its appeal in my opinion. But, I mean, base wart still has it. it still has the. Um, it, I don't know. It's still not the same. As in movies, I can't properly explain it, but okay, let me. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt, but I have to go. Oh now. yeah, because you got the sleeps, because you're a babby. It's all right, we get it. <laughs> it's yeah. chill. I'll, oh I'll, man, I'll, I'll probably go. No, soon. honestly, yeah, because we're. I yeah. know we're just. We're yeah, I, I, I wanted honestly. to. I did want to speed it up. Yeah, but you know we we were talking about the, yeah. the silly we were talking the silly bullshit. But anyway, uh, you guys say your bit we got through all the mutations at least yeah, we did yeah true. and we had a very good conversation about wart i had a great time i hope you guys did too yeah and uh okay so starting with shark because you said the funny first where can people find you 
I have a YouTube channel with one video about a bug I found in SCP Secret Laboratory. And that's hell yeah. <laughs> but I do that's eventually want to start doing gameplay channel, uh, gameplay yeah. uh, videos eventually of VHS. Uh, you can also probably just find me lurking in VHS servers. Indeed. Uh, join the Discord, by the way. It's very, it's very fun. Um, all right, and, and Sakuda, where can the peoples find you? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to stream twitch.tv slash Sakuda VHS. Um, I'll probably, yeah, I'm pretty yeah, much on you every, oh, sorry. yeah, Did you? uh, yeah, I'm pretty much on every single VHS server at this point. So if you just yeah. at, you'll probably reach me. It's cute because you're a very pog player, my guy. But, <laughs> thank uh, you, thank you. but yeah, no, I followed your ass like right before stream too. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go catch your that. shit. I'm yeah. And that. then, uh, Cam, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on YouTube. You just need to type in Cam Shatnulanova. And I, yeah, I, I, I cannot specify enough that you need to type in Nulanova because otherwise you'll be subjected to the uh, somewhat painful world of Kazakh pop music, yeah, which I do not recommend. That's not great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I also do stream sometimes, not often, but sometimes on Twitch. Also mm -hmm. at camshat underscore nullanova. And I actually had one last thing about like what that I wanted to say. And okay. it's about the movies, and it's about the lore. I love what Zoe did with the first movie. Mm -hmm. But I do have one minor critique, which is, so, when Ward is seeing new people, new enemies, new objects, he sometimes refers to them as, like, I don't know, bullets, um... And, yeah, why uh, does he know what a bullet like, is? <laughs> yeah, he, like I, I understand that he he has the um, basic understanding, like b b of concept of a bullet, but yeah, the term smart noodle. bullet, yeah, but the the term bullet, I don't, I think that it could be substituted for something more, uh, vague, like more vague. Uh, yes. Uh, like, just the, projectile. It, like, you could just say they projectile. Attack you, they attack you with their projectile launching weaponry. Or yeah, something, something just a bit something, more. Something like, something like, yeah, it, like, I don't know, the. The small, I don't know, the. the I'm, I'm, I, I can't come up with the. No, I get, I get what you mean, but also these, these yeah. lads need to go. Yeah. But, uh, but, and you fucking yeah. get your morning started or go back to, one, go back one, to bed, whichever. One more, uh, <laughs> One more thing. Fucking Christ. Work can right, canonically go. read. <laughs> he, yeah, yeah. He's a... Again, that's why I love Wart, too. It's like, not he looks like not, such a dumb not bastard, just because but he's a the, smart uh, noodle. Not just because of the Christmas Carol thing. It actually can read. It In the director's cut, it read a name yeah. tag of the person. Delilah, yeah. I think. Hell yeah. But he, he murdered the shit can't... out of her. No, oh, no he, he took her hand. No, he took her hand, right? No, no, that's the no, boss. No. Delilah. Uh, that's the boss lady. Definitely. Delilah is the scientist who created him. Yeah. Ah, yes. There we who go. Who gets a bullet oh, to the head. Oh, and, and you call yourself a VHS fan. Dude, I read that shit like two weeks ago. Fuck off. <laughs> <All right. laughs> My well, memory's yeah, already quite poor. But anyway, right. you guys, yeah. peace out. Thank you again yep. for being on yeah. the Tales from the Boneyard podcast. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. it was fun talking. <laughs> Oh, hell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Sharkaboom. Bye. All right, there. All right. <laughs> All right, anyway, I'll catch y'all. Catch y'all later.